Welcome to the Driving the World podcast series. I'm your host, Cully Holland. Today we have Adam Miles, who is our corporate mechanical engineer, and we'll be talking about SEALs. Hey, Adam, how's it going? Thanks for being back on the podcast with us. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Glad to be here. So today we're going to be talking about SEALs, and I'm glad you sat down because as far as I know, we have a couple options at SEW Eurodrive. And first of all, let's just get out and open. What does a SEAL do? Yeah, so at its most basic, the SEAL is the barrier between the oil or the lubrication in the inside of our gearbox and the application and the factors, the outside of the gearbox, debris, ambient, wash down, anything like that. Okay, so it's uh, kind of a rather integral part of defense, keeping things out as well as keeping the oil in. Yeah, it's it's a small but really important part of, of the box. Awesome. And if we're looking at a gear motor, is there only one seal or are there multiple seals? And if there's multiple, like where are they located? Yeah, so we're going to have output seals. Uh, in this case, it's a single output box. So we're going to have, have an output seal on one side. Some of our options, obviously, will have a shaft on the other side. So we'd have a seal there as well. And then again, with our integrally mounted boxes, we're going to have a seal in here at the motor pinion to separate the electric motor from the oil bath as well. well fantastic. All right. So pretty much we're going to be dealing with two uh, different types of seals. And let's start at the output seal. What are some options if SEW does have options for our output seal and what makes them different? Yeah. So we have a couple of basic options. Uh, our standard seal is an, an NBR or a, a nitro rubber seal. Um, pretty industry standard product, uh, single sealing lip and a dust lip. Um, and that's, that's going to be our, our basic standard option. Uh, from there we do offer a, we call it double sealing internally, but it's a, it's a nesting seal that, that fits inside of that MBR seal and it will, it's actually an FKM and adds a second sealing lip. Okay. So package. All right. So we have our standard everyday single MBR seal. Mm -hmm. And you're saying SDW has a function where they can put another seal in it and it doubles the protection pretty much having two seals in there? Yeah, basically it just adds another barrier again between the, the inside of the box and the outside world. Very cool. And so will this work in all ambient conditions? Is it kind of like a one-stop shop or let's say if it's getting pretty hot or pretty cold, is there another option for us out there? Yeah. So the MBR is going to cover a, a pretty wide range. Um, but we do have an, an FKM rubber seal that we usually recommend in the more extreme ambient conditions, especially in the hot ambient conditions. We'll traditionally pair that with a synthetic oil. Um, it does have a little bit of a low range advantage as well. But when we get into the extreme cold, which we're not very likely to see, the uh, the softer nitro rubber actually tends to work a little bit better in those environments. Okay. So I'm guessing pairing the, uh, sorry, the FKM? Mm -hmm. Yep. If we have the FKM seal and synthetic oil, is that going to help maintain the life of the gearbox in these harsher environments? Right. Yeah. Both your synthetic oils and your, your FKM rubber are going to have a little bit better life when faced with the high ambient temperatures and those really extreme conditions. So you're going to see a little bit longer life and longer wear out of both of those. So definitely something to keep in mind when sizing up a new application. Correct. And on your output seals, are those pretty much the two options we have? Yeah, th those are going to be our main standard options. Um, as with anything, we have uh, pretty strong engineering support and are always willing to work with a customer to find an application-specific solution. In the past, we've used some labyrinth seals and and other more extreme options that, you know, really, if if the application justifies it, we can we can find a way to make it happen. Well, that's definitely case by case, and the end user or the OEM would probably be aware of that before they even started the project and know they would need something a little extra. Right. Yeah. That that's definitely something that would that would be driven by a pretty extreme application. Okay. So. So it sounds like we've got our output seal covered. Let's move into the gearbox. And you said we have a motor seal in here behind this flange. Correct. So uh, tell me about those. Why Why would we have a seal in that location of the gear motor? Well, with most of SEW's product, we're integrally sealing our, or integrally mounting our motor to our gearbox. So the first stage pinion is going to be mounted directly onto this rotor shaft. So because of that, we have to separate oil from the electric motor there. So in basic form and function, 
we use another lip seal there. Um, generally, we have the same options of the MBR and FKM, depending on temperature. Uh, we also have recently introduced a PSS or a, a premium sign seal okay. that we developed with, uh, you know, a leading industry partner, and it's a little bit different in in that. The seal lip is not linear or a straight line like you would traditionally think in a seal, and it actually follows a sine wave pattern. Okay. And what that does, it gives us a little bit wider contact area, and it allows us to not use a spring. Most of our standard seals have a metal spring inside to keep pressure on that seal lip. Right. Makes sense. Um, you know, to, to retain your oil. So with that wider contact area, we don't need the spring, which is less pressure on the seal lip. So it's going to be a little bit more efficient, generate a little bit less heat, and going to have a little bit uh, or a, a fair amount longer life, actually. Um, and also with that surface area, we're much less likely to wear into the shaft and the seal surface when the seal fails. And all of that sounds like ideal for trying to not have to take apart this gear motor and have to replace the seal. So if it's lasting longer, it's just going to give you that much more life out of the complete unit. And it sounds like the motor seal, instead of keeping the ambient out, you're keeping the oil out of our motor because I have a feeling that gearbox oil and electric motors don't play nice. Right. Yeah, that, that's less than ideal. And as you mentioned, that, that seal's kind of buried in the machine. So putting something in there that's going to have a longer life, less maintenance interval is always a positive. So. That's something we, we always like to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, we have touched on the input on the uh, motor seal and the output seal, are there any other seals we really need to be concerned about? Or with further questions, just reach out to your local sales representative with SEW? Yeah, I think that that covers the bulk of it. Um, yeah, as always, you know, our engineering support or your, your local sales representative should be able to help point you in the right direction. Well, awesome. Question, so. I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming back on the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me.